You are welcome to another episode of One on One. This is a show where we ask some super talented A-list actors some questions about their career. And guess who we have in the studio today? We have Sir Eric Roberts. I hope that name rings a bell because he is a super famous Hollywood actor. Now we're going to be asking questions about his career and how we're going to bridge Hollywood with Nollywood. Don't move a muscle, we'll be right back. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of One on One. You will not believe that we have a Golden Globe holder sitting right next to me. Welcome Mr. Eric Roberts. I have to correct you. They have never given me a Golden Globe. They've only nominated, nominated me three times. Okay. They okay. never gave me one. Well, that, <laughs> that's fair enough. If you've been nominated already, then that's a big deal already. i got to tell you, though, after one nomination, you want the trophy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> well, anyways, you came into recognition with your uh, movie, in the movie, King of the Gypsies. That's my first film. That was yeah. your first film. Well, you're welcome to the show. How do you Thank feel, you. sir? I've only been in this country for... 14 hours. Oh, wow. But so, I feel great. And everybody is so pleasant and nice. Thank course, you so much. Of course. Well, it's good to have you here. It's Thank our you, pleasure. One-on-one on one is a show where I'll be getting to know more about your career and you as an A-list actor. I'm here to hopefully begin to bring Hollywood to Nigeria. That is awesome. And we decided if I come here, then I can entice other people to come here. And when other people come here, then everybody will see how wonderful it, it is, is, how great the industry is, mm -hmm. and then we'll start Hollywood in Nigeria. That's and then awesome. and then Nigeria can have their own Hollywood, and they can do it themselves. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. Okay. So how do you plan on bridging Nollywood, Hollywood into Nollywood? The great thing about art, mm -hmm. it's like sports. Okay. It's welcome everywhere. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is make it attractive to watch. Yeah, I agree. How easy will it be for an African, a Nigerian? Can I just go into California, the Hollywood studios, well, and say I want to be an actor? You're already giving yourself boundaries mm -hmm. by calling yourself Nigerian. Call yourself an artist. Okay. You are an artist. You are you 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 are welcome everywhere in the world okay. as an artist. Okay. That's what you are. Oh, I love that. Um, that is very encouraging. As an actor, what is your driving force to um, becoming as great as you are today? That's an awful big question. Um, the uh, the Beatles said it best, all you need is love. I love our world. I love the art of filmmaking. And I love all the people I meet. <laughs> I get to meet great people sure. every single day. I'm sure. Yeah. Now, you've been in the industry for so many years. Do you ever get tired of the paparazzi, of the fame? Does he ever, are there any bad sides to the fame? If you're famous and you're recognizable and you complain, you are not you you are not a nice person <laughs> because it's the most wonderful thing in the world mm -hmm. to to be recognizable yeah. because you get you get nicer tables in restaurants <laughs> you get better seats on airplanes mm -hmm. and uh, you're 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 welcome everywhere you go because everybody has an experience with you that belongs to only you and them because they watch you by themselves with their eyes and they had their feelings about you so they have a relationship with you and you have to respect that. And if you don't, well, I can't say it on TV. <laughs> okay. Can you tell us a bit about your first ever movie and what the feeling was like? Were you nervous? It was called King of the Gypsies. Okay. It was 1978. I was 19 years old when I got it. I was 20 years old when I made it. And I was scared every single day because <laughs> the actors around me were Susan Sarandon played my mother, Brooke Shields played my sister, Shelley Winters played my grandmother, Judd Hirsch played my father, mm -hmm. and the great Sterling Hayden played my grandfather. So I had all these stars around me, mm -hmm. so I was scared every day. Okay. But the film came out, and the whole world said, we want you to make movies. You didn't even get to know or find out where you're from. I was born in Biloxi, Mississippi. Okay. I was raised in New Orleans and Atlanta. But I lived the longest in New York for okay. 22 years straight. So you're used to the busy and the bubbly lifestyle. Right. I'm sure Lagos is not going to be any trouble for you. I like Lagos. Yes. Well, nice you, town. So, all right, sir. So I'd like you to tell or advise people out there who want to become something good in life or in the path of art. It's probably true of anything you'll ever do, but especially in show business. 
Treat everybody like they're going to be your boss next week because they might be. Peace out. All right, thanks for tuning in to Tribe TV One on One. We are signing out. A fun time hanging out with Eric Roberts. Please don't forget to log on to our website. Our website is www.tribe.tv. Our Twitter and our Instagram handles are Tribe TV. My name on Instagram is Asari Duke underscore. See you guys next time. Please keep it locked onto Tribe TV.